What's up guys, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds. And so you wanna shoot music videos. Today, we're gonna to talk about that. So if you're watching this video, you probably have a serious interest in wanting to get into music videos, wanting to shoot music videos, wanting to direct music videos. And so today I'm going to talk about that topic, how you can get into it, how to get started, how I got started, how I kind of rise through the ranks and made my way from working with independent artists to big budget label artists and so on. I first started doing music videos with Futuristic, who many of you know if you're watching this channel or you've been a fan of this channel or a subscriber for a long time. Futuristic and I went to school together, he rapped, I made videos, and then around college, he was taking more music seriously and asked if I wanted to shoot a music video. I had never shot a music video, but I was like, cool, let's do it. Borrowed a friend's Canon T2i, shot my first music video with him on Mill Avenue in Tempe, Arizona. After we made that video, we created the Buff Nerds YouTube channel and I uploaded the video there. From there, I started getting hit up by all these local artists to shoot music videos. I was like, I guess I shoot music videos now and that's kind of how I got my start into music videos. From there, local artists would reach out to me to shoot music videos. I was getting paid around $100, $200 a video, and I myself would also find local dope artists that I liked and would reach out to them and offer my services to shoot them music videos as well. Whether it was Facebook or email, Instagram really wasn't a thing there to reach out, uh, but it took a lot of me on my part early on reaching out to artists that I wanted to shoot for locally, as well as artists that weren't in my state, uh, but then artists reaching out to me as well because I was shooting all these local music videos. So the first step and key important part to wanting to do music videos is you just have to get started and you have to reach out. You have to be willing to work for it from ground zero. You're not just gonna instantly just like decide one day, oh, I wanna start making music videos and get booked by a high level talent. You have to build a resume, a reel, show that you've done music videos, show you can work with artists and build, yeah, a resume and a reel so that you can pitch yourselves to labels or create a name for yourself where other artists are gonna see your work and reach out to you and want you to do their videos. So it takes a lot of legwork in the beginning to, to get up and moving. For years, um, I just shot a ton of music videos for artists like KID, who you guys know now, now know as Kyle, uh, Futuristic, Sam King, DY, Hoodie Allen, these were all guys uh, that I first started out with just kind of shooting videos for. And as I got better and as the videos got better and got out there to the web and we made good content, I started getting hit up by other artist management or labels and I just kept climbing the ladder from there. So the next tip is just practice and just keep going. The more you practice anything, the better you're gonna get at it. Whether it's sports, drawing, painting, whatever, the more you paint, the better of a painter you're gonna become. The more you practice basketball, the better basketball player you're gonna become. Same thing with making videos or becoming a video director. The more videos you shoot, the more you practice and hone your skills, the better you are going to become. The quicker you can enhance your skills and become a better video director, the quicker you're gonna rise in ranks and get hired for music video jobs or any type of video production job. Next is treatments. You have to be able to, to formally put together a treatment so that the artist or their management or their label can see the idea you have for their video. A lot of time artists have their own ideas for the video and they'll come to you and just kind of want you to bring it to life and make it come all together and, and be alive on screen. Other times artists, music labels, management, they have no idea what they want and they come to you as a director and ask, what's your vision for the video? and you have to put together a treatment of what the video is gonna be about and what it's gonna look like. I have to do this all the time for record labels, even artists I work with on a regular basis, one of which Dizzy Wright, who I've shot, I don't know, probably like six or seven videos for. We just recently did another music video called Pose, but he came to me directly, wanted me to do the video, but he still wanted to see a treatment about what my idea or vision for the video was. Yes, he trusts my vision. Yes, we've worked together in the past, but he still wanted a treatment. Below in the description, I've linked my original treatments that I've used to book music videos, uh, such as the Kyle Really Really Yeah video, among much other ones that, you know, some for OT Genesis, Dizzy Wright, and a bunch of other artists as well. My original treatments, I've also linked templates for treatments, so you can literally go and plug and play, change the text, add a picture, and it's like a template for you to create your own treatment. 
but treatments are extremely important and a big part of the music video game and world. A lot of people don't know what treatments are, but if you wanna direct music videos and you wanna get far in that, you need to know how to write a treatment, you need to be able to write a treatment. Another big thing is to build a reel and a website. I try and tell people this all the time, I wanna pass jobs on to other people that I can't necessarily take on, and the first thing that that artist or management asks for when I'm trying to pass them off onto another director is, can we see the reel? Where's the reel? Someone is not going to hire someone else if they don't know their work history, if they don't know what their work looks like, if they, if they even like their work. They wanna be able to see a video reel that shows and demonstrates their work as a professional, as a video director, um, and just see if they can achieve the results that they want. So you have to have a reel. Early on, I was always building a reel. Back in college, even when I was shooting local music videos, every time I shot a local music video, I put together a reel with all these videos I shot, and I would use that to pitch to artists. I'd email artists on Facebook or their email, hey, my name's Jacob Owens, I'm a music video director, here's my reel, here's my list of work, here's what I can make for you. So you have to have a reel if you're trying to land music video jobs. Just period, whether you're a director, a DP, steady camp, anything, you, you need to have a reel so people can see your work. Next is be original. There's so many people that are trying to copy other people and be like other people, and it, they don't set themselves apart and they don't stand out from the crowd. Some of the most popular or you know the most successful directors are directors or DPs that have their own style that are unique, and that's why people wanna hire them. They, they're not hiring someone's work or hiring someone for the work that looks like everyone else's. People want stuff that's unique and different and cool. They don't want something that they can get from 20 other people. So try not to just copy other people or emulate other people. It's fine to draw inspiration from other people, but do not just flat out copy other people's work or style. Find your own. Sometimes it takes a long time to find your style. And it's gonna find, your style is gonna be found quicker and faster than others. Some, it might take longer. It's, everyone's different, but find your own style. And lastly, develop good relationships. That's where the majority of my work has come from, whether it's repeat customers and clients, whether they're an artist or music uh, label or management, um, is because of the good relationship I've established with them previously to working as well as working. So the better the relationship you can establish with a person beforehand, you know, connections are everything. A lot, it's, it's so true what they say, it's not, you know, what you know, it's who you know. And some of the biggest jobs, music video wise, that I've booked are off of personal relationships I know with the artist management or someone at the music label. Um, or just a, a friend of a friend. So relationships are everything. So build those, you know, not only working relationships when you work with them, but those personal relationships as well. Those relationships will bring you a lot of jobs. When I'm hiring out crew for my music videos and different things, I'm always first reaching out to the people I personally know, people that are my friends that I can bring on set to help out. So it's totally about the connections, relationships, who you know, so make sure you're always you're nice to people, you're kind, you work hard, you do the job, and you, uh, you keep those relationships alive because that's what will bring in more work. So if you wanna do music videos and get into them, those are my biggest pieces of advice. Um, it's, it's advice that I've you know, taken into my own life and how I've gotten to where I am and have directed all the videos that I've had for all the different types of artists all across all platforms from country to hip hop, rock, whatever. Um, these are straight from my life and experiences coming up as a music video director, so take them to heart. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys and inspires some of you guys as well. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds, and I'm out.